What's up, everybody? It's Leo and AD, man. It's the Black on Podcast, bro. What's going on, man? What's going on, everybody? Hey, bro, we yeah. back again with some some te- some more Texan stuff, man. I can't curse within two minutes, so <laughs> some more Texan stuff, bro. Hey, man. Hey, how you been? You had a good week, bro? Yeah, I've been having a pretty decent week. How about you? That's good, man. I've been having a good week myself, bro. So let's get right into it, man. Uh, to the First thing we're going to talk about today, man, is the two uh, big signings of the offseason, bro. Two, two, game changing, two game changing signings, bro. We got a game breaking receiver, bro, and we got a, a, a game breaking running back. Nah, no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. I, I like both of them as players. Um, I think that. That yeah, man, they're just, they're good play. They're good players. I mean, Marlon Mack, we obviously seen can run. They should, Deshaun Hamilton, man, uh, really really tough slot receiver, bro. Brings character. I feel like you know, and he has something to prove. Um, mm-hmm. uh, man, what you think about it, bro? You go ahead. Man. Um, just just going back on what you just said, they both have something to prove. They both were have been out with injuries. They both recovered from injuries. They both showed promise Marlon Mack more than Deshaun Hamilton. Um, but, you know, I feel like these are, are low risk, high reward type signings that can boost you if it's, if it's successful. Um, Marlon Mack was, you know, starting caliber running back for Indy and, you know, Deshaun Hamilton, you know, was eventually playing his way on the field in Denver, even though they have a lot of capital in their wide receiver room. So I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a low risk, high rewards, you know, type signings, and hopefully they'll uh, they'll 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 make it work. They'll make it work, and if they don't show promise, or if they still struggling from recovering from injuries, you can cut bait and move move on. Yeah, man, I agree, bro. I think this is really low risk, high reward. Um, um, I don't see this changing the draft board at all. You know, uh, it, if anything, it just gives you more flexibility to where you're not taking a receiver early or running back early unless it's just the perfect guy for you. Right. Like like we talked about before we was recording. Um, this just gives you more of a reason to not reach on a receiver that you don't love. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if Pickens is there at 37 or a guy that you undoubtedly is the number one that fits your scheme and all that shit then that makes sense to take them because it's not that many guys like a Pickens, you know, it's not that many guys that have a uh, height, size, speed, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Willing to block, you know, so, you know, it just gives you, but you don't have to reach on a, on a right. sky more in the second round, you know, now, mm-hmm. like you don't, I mean, great player, but you just don't have to, if there's a, if there is a similar graded trench player, just go with the trench player. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think it gives you even more flexibility in terms of when you pick a running back, you know, mm-hmm. what I mean? and the type of running back you pick, like you don't necessarily have to get, um, I mean, it, it just gives you a lot of flexibility, man. So I think just starting off at the top, bro, great signings, um, mm-hmm. great signings in that they, they, they create more stability for you to mm-hmm. build through the draft, which is the ongoing mm-hmm. thing with the Texans build through the draft. Right. And just to, you know, kind of cap off the conversation with it is that um, those guys kind of set the precedent of what Nick is trying to do as far as taking, you know, taking these opportunities on these, on these guys who have a lot of talent and they just haven't had the opportunity the last few years, whether it be with injury or, you know, going to slide down a death chart. Um, so it kind of sets the president of, okay, let's build this, build this team up with guys who can, who can actually play and let's see, see if they can fit the team, fit what we're trying to do. And not, like you said, not waste draft capital because you don't have, you don't have the talent in the room not just the players, but just the talent. You don't have the talent in the room. I feel like the wide receiver room and a running back room lacked talent, which is why you go and get a Deshaun Hamilton and a Marlon Mack, just to add talent to the room. So just to cap it off, like you said, good signings. I feel like we can build off of that and we can you know, go from there and, and address more pressing needs in the draft. Yeah, 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 more pressing needs. Um, mm-hmm. 